So whether or not you make software yourself, you are part of a software supply chain somehow. So what do you do? Obviously, we have to assess our capabilities, and it's not just in engineering. We have to get out of this headspace where we tend to be locked with our logic. And clearly, you know, if we present the exact facts that brought us to this logical conclusion, we present them to other people, clearly they are just going to go for it. And that's not necessarily the case, right? Setting goals, especially if you're thinking about doing a bug bounty, is super important because what I see happening today with bug bounties is that it's being used as virtue signaling. There's not a lot of preparation going on before people are launching bug bounties. And they think it's a replacement for a penetration test. Penetration testers are under NDA. It is a low risk and relatively low volume way to hear about bugs. That is a completely different kind of scenario than opening up the floodgates to a bug bounty. So, Obviously, you know, uh, in my family, I was the mathlete. My brother actually runs marathons. He's, he's an actual athlete. So, but, you know, going from couch to a marathon is what I, uh, I, I liken people just running out and starting bug bounties. People, think, people thinking that they could just get up off the couch and run to this asymmetric, you know, load of vulnerabilities coming at them from who knows where. So... You actually can't control what other people are going to do. You can't control the attackers. You can't control the hackers. But you can control your own actions, your own preparation, your own infrastructure. And the thing that, that has been killing me is that we are so in love with bugs. And it's not really about bugs. It's about our ability to handle the unknown.